I think there are so many perverse incentives today for Christians to be divided. But as Christians, we have a special call to unity under the truth of the gospel. Uh, this was Jesus' prayer in John 17. And Paul said we should strive earnestly to be united. And so I think the most important thing for us is to love each other and to listen to each other and to give each other the benefit of the doubt. This doesn't mean we should be naive, but I think when we interact with fellow Christians, especially those with whom we disagree, we should be willing to say, I don't land where this person lands. Uh, I don't agree with them on this particular application of this particular issue or this social concern, but they're good brothers and sisters in Christ, and I'm gonna love them through this. This is what is needed in our churches, in our evangelical institutions, in all the places we gather. And if we can do this, we can show the world a model for what it looks like to get along with people, to love each other that we might disagree with.